Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, gagawa na naman tayo ng video regarding sa criminology. So huwag na huwag nyo kakalimutan mag-subscribe dito sa Jack TV and click the notification bell para updated ka sa bagong mga video na aking i-upload. So by the way, my name is Jay Kalongkong. I am your coach for today and we will discuss about the classification of evidence. So let us define the real evidence and authentic evidence or object evidence. Sir, what is the meaning of real evidence? Pag sinabi kong real evidence, that is what we call directly addressed to the senses of the court. Ibig sabihin po, ginagamitan po ito ng five senses. Ano po yung five senses? Sa pamamagitan ng uh, nakita mo, narinig mo, nahawakan mo, naamoy mo, at nalasahan mo. Yun po yung ibig sabihin ng real evidence. No other than that po. Uh, for example po, nakakuha kayo ng mga bagay. Like for example, physical uh, evidence, katulad ng kutsilyo, katulad ng dugo, etc. etc. So, let us define the, the documentary evidence. Pag sinabi pong documentary evidence, evidence supplies by written instrument derived from conventional symbol. Ibig sabihin po ng documentary evidence, any gesture or any things na nagbibigay o nagpapaiwatig po sa tao na magbigay sa kanya ng senyales. For example, uh, nakadikit sa pader, sulat. Pag naintindihan nyo po yung isang bagay na yun, ibig sabihin po niyan, that's the kind of documentary. Pero, sir, paano po kung magpe-present po kami sa korte at ang gusto po namin i-present is yung mismong cellphone. Ang cellphone po ay isa kind of real evidence. Pero, sir, paano, sir, kung yung sulat po sa loob ng cellphone yung gusto namin i, uh, ipakita sa korte? That's the time na papasok na po siya sa documentary evidence. Okay, last but not the least, testimonial evidence. Sir, what is the meaning of testimonial evidence? Submitted to the court through the testimony or disposition of a witness. Ibig sabihin po niyan, meron po yan two types. Ano po yung two types niyan? Meron po yung expert witness and ordinary witness. So from the word ordinary witness, ito po yung mga taong walang kakayahang Uh, walang mga professional, hindi professional or hindi sila totally makakapagbigay ng kanilang opinion kasi based lang naman sa nakita nila o naobserbahan nila yon Pero kapag sinabi pong expert witness, that's the time na po nagagamitin na po nila yung expertise nila which is yung, for example, uh, barilan. That's the time na papasok na po dyan yung balistician. Pero do you consider yourself as an expert witness? No. Lagi nyo pong sasagot sa court o kay ho, kay judge, I know. Let let the, the judge uh, consider you as an expert witness. Thank you for watching this video guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And huwag nyo kakalimutan mag-like sa St. Clair Review Center, number one review center sa Kagayan. So, 